Hey, what's good with it, folks? Your boy AG the BHB, and I'm back at it again with another Fresh Impressions video. Now, what are we unboxing today? Giorgio Armani's Aqua de Gio Profondo. Now, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all of y'all who have came back to see me again. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome to Central. I'm your boy AG of the BHB. Right here, we do unboxings, first impressions, top tens list, reviews, pretty much anything that's fragrance related. I got y'all on that, man. So, with that said, if that's something that you'd be interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Matter of fact, when the screen pops up, go ahead and hit the bell. So that way, anytime that I put out a new video, you're gonna be one of the first ones to know. Now, let's go ahead and get started. Already, man. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, man, what we're unboxing today is that Aqua de Geo Profondo. So I'm barely getting my nose on this one. I don't know if any of y'all have tried this one yet, but let's go ahead and unbox this thing, man, and get down to the juice. Already, man. So the front, you got your Aqua de Geo by Giorgio Armani. And in the bottom, letting you know that it's the new flanker Profondo. And it's our Eau de Parfum concentration. And on the side, you got your barcode. There's nothing on the opposite side. And on the top, you got your Giorgio Armani logo. And at the bottom, I know you got your batch code information. Now, I don't think y'all can see that from there. Y'all might not be able to. So I apologize for that, man. But this is where you would find your batch code. Now, let's go ahead and open this up, man, and actually get to the juice. Now the Aqua de Gio Profondo bottle actually looks kind of similar to Aqua de Gio's Profumo. They actually have a very similar type bottle. Of course, one's blue and the other one is black. Okay, here you go, guys. I don't know if you can tell very well, but right here at the top, you have the Giorgio Armani symbol. Um, there's nothing really going on in the back or the sides. I mean, it's pretty simplistic right there as far as that goes. Of course, at the bottom, you have your batch code. Actually, let me flip that right there. So there you go, you have your batch code. That's pretty much the presentation of the bottle. Now the moment of truth, man, that actual juice. Oh man, that's nice. Oh man, this is really good right here. This is a really nice fragrance, guys. Unfortunately, I don't have the original Aqua de Gio bottle anymore, so I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison between the original Aqua de Gio and this Aqua de Gio Profondo. But I do have Profumo, and I can definitely do a comparison between those two. So let me go ahead and spray this real quick so I can do a comparison. All right, folks, so I can definitely say that this one right here, when you spray it in the air, man, you definitely get that Aqua de Gio DNA, or at least from what I remember from the original Aqua de Gio, because like I said, I don't have that bottle anymore to compare side by side, but this definitely reminds me of the original Aqua de Gio when you smell it in the air. Now, if you put your nose closer to it, though, uh, I know for me, I definitely start to pick up a lot more of those blue notes, you know, the blue notes that it's in all blue type fragrances. And when I did that, it kind of reminded me of the Bulgari's Aqua Atlantique, but not as in your face. Cause if you smelled that one, you know that the blue notes in those can kind of be kind of in your face. But this one here is a little bit more mellow and slightly sweeter. I don't know, man. Those of y'all that follow me on Instagram know that I am a fan, a big fan of Aqua Atlantique, Bulgari's Aqua Atlantique when it comes to spring and summer. But something tells me I might've found me a new favorite, man. Cause I love the Aqua de Geo DNA. And then with the blue notes that's in this one, it's a little bit more mellow too and smoother and sweet. Not too sweet though, it does not smell like absolute. So for those of y'all who are afraid that this might be another one that might have like that Invictus Aqua type of uh, DNA, you know, going on that everybody's been jumping on the bandwagon on, this one is not like that. So this does not smell anything like absolute or absolute instinct, but this is a blue fragrance mixed with that Aqua de Geo DNA. This is definitely a nice one, man. I'm really digging this one right now. So when can you wear this? Like I said, it's a blue fragrance, man. Most blue, most blue fragrances check all boxes for all occasions and everything. So, I mean, you could definitely wear this during the day uh, because of that slight sweetness on here and the mass appealing factor to this aqua DNA. Uh, you could definitely wear it at night. You want to take it out on a date, you know, you want to wear this one going on a date, you can definitely wear it then. You want to wear it casually, it's good for that. You want to wear it to the office, you can wear it for that as well. Now, I wouldn't wear it if you work at a place where you're like suit and tie or you're going to a, uh, a suit and tie type of event. Now, if that's the case, 
Profumo is probably gonna fit the bill a lot better than Profondo. Now Profondo right here though, like I said, you could wear it for spring, you could wear it for summer, you could wear it in the fall. Now when it comes to winter, uh, you could, you might could wear this one then. I mean, you can wear, I mean, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want, right? I'm not telling you what to do, but I think this one here is not going to be as well suited for winter. I think for winter, you're probably going to want to go with Profumo. This one right here is a little bit more richer and it has that incense in it as well. So if you want that aqua de geo type DNA in the winter, then Profumo is probably going to work better than Profondo. But Profondo, man, it's got to be one of the better aqua de geo releases here recently. So yeah, man, this right here, man, I'm really digging this one. So this one here definitely smells fresh, clean, aquatic, you know, because of the C notes. But yeah, man, it's definitely a blue fragrance through and through. All right, folks, so obviously I gotta do some more wearing on this one, man, so that that way I can give y'all a full review on this one. But that's been my first impression so far, man. This is a fresh, clean, aquatic blue type fragrance, man. Like, I really like this one right here. It's definitely one of the better flankers that has came out by Aqua de Gio here recently. Now, is Profundo gonna be better than Profumo? I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm going to make that jump. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make that jump or whatever stuff. This is definitely a nice fragrance that checks a lot of the same boxes as this one does right here. But obviously this one here is a little bit more richer. And I feel like this one here is probably a little bit more versatile also than this one. But these two right here has got to be the top two Aqua de Geo fragrances as of right now. At least as far as scent goes, because I mean, obviously I got to do some more testing on this one so I can find out what the performance on this one is. But I mean, definitely so far, as far as scent goes, these are definitely got to be the top two in the in the line right now, man. All right, folks, at this point, this has been sitting on my skin for a little bit. Even in the dry down, when you still get that blue, fresh, aquatic type notes that's in this one here. But it also seems to have like uh, some green type of notes in there. Now, it's not strong and overpowering, but it's just enough there that you can definitely pick it up gives it a nice base to this man yeah this is definitely turning out nice guys all right folks so that was my unboxing or first impressions of aqua de Gio's profondo i hope you enjoyed the video and you found it somewhat informative like i said i gotta give it some more testing so i can give you a full review so it's definitely not a full review but hopefully you were still able to get enough information out of it that you might want to make a decision on this one and if you have any questions that i probably didn't answer in the video go ahead and let me know in the comments or matter of fact follow me on instagram at scent trails and hit me up in the dms man but like i said man if you found it informative you enjoyed this video man go ahead and give me the like man or like i said at the beginning of the video man go ahead and hit subscribe so anytime that i put out a new video on unboxings first impressions reviews previews top tens list or anything that's fragrance related man you can be one of the first ones to know so go ahead and hit that bell and i'll catch y'all on the next one holla